Good afternoon, everybody. Tech out here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Microsoft Surface Pro 8. And if you guys saw my video a couple days ago, you know I just recently picked up the Surface Pro 7. Well, I actually took that one back and exchanged it for the Surface Pro 8, and I'm going to explain to you guys why I did that and how I feel about the upgrade. Um, so first things first is I paid uh, $799 for the Surface Pro 7. It was $400 off. Um, regular price was still about in line with what the regular price of this one is. Um, but of course they were offering a $400 discount. I don't know if it was a holiday thing, if it's because it's two years old, um, what the case may be, but everywhere I was able to find it, Best Buy, Microsoft, Amazon, all the Surface Pro 7s were the same price. Um, so this one, Microsoft is doing a sale. Uh, it was $100 off, so it was $9.99. Um, so with tax, it was about $200 more um, than what I paid for the Microsoft Surface Pro 7. Now this one is a 128 gigabyte model with the 11th gen i5 and eight gigabytes of RAM. The Surface Pro 7 I had for 799 was a 256 gigabyte model and it was a 10th gen i5 with eight gigabytes of RAM. Um, now we'll get to that in a second because uh, I'll tell you guys why I got the smaller storage size and why you should too on the Surface Pro 8. Um, so first things first is the screen on this one is a ton better. Um, night and day difference. It's a 13 inch screen rather than a 12.3 uh, inch screen. The bezels are a lot smaller. Overall, it just feels a lot more modern and a lot more up to date. Um, the Surface Pro 7 had the, basically the same design as the Surface Pro 2 that I had back in the day, um, back in like 2014, 2015. Overall, it just didn't feel really good holding it. Felt kind of clunky. Just felt outdated. Um, it was a little bit sluggish, but not too bad. Um, for $799, performance was eh, battery life was pretty bad, um, I could probably kill that thing in a few hours of just web browsing, YouTube watching, that kind of stuff. Um, this one almost doubles the battery size at um, 50 watt hours I believe is what it is, uh, the other one I think was like 35, um, so this one's just under double that. Battery life on this one is a little bit better, it's not not the best, um, I've been using it since last night and we're at 43% and that's web browsing, um, YouTube, that kind of stuff on here. Um, but the screen's a ton better. This one also has a higher resolution and a 120 hertz screen. Um, so much, much better than the Surface Pro 7, in my opinion. Um, and the fact that I was able to get this one for $200 more than, than the Surface Pro 7 is definitely a lot better value, in my opinion, which is why I did that. Um, because the Surface Pro 7 was already two years old, this one just came out um, in, I believe, October, November of 2021. So a lot better value here. Um, and the reason I went with the smaller storage size is if we flip it over right here, you'll notice a little uh, door right here with a little hole right there. What you do is you can take a SIM, uh, SIM tool for like a phone or a paper clip. You push down on that. This is magnetic. It'll pop up. And there is an M.2 SSD in there that can be easily upgraded. It is a weird size. It's a 2230 um, M.2 drive. So they're a little bit harder to find, but you can definitely find them. Um, I can upgrade this to like 256 or 512 for under hundred dollars. Whereas Microsoft going bumping those up, it's going to cost you over three to four hundred dollars, depending on what storage size you go with. Um, so definitely worth it to just do that yourself. Now they do say that that isn't really for the consumer to upgrade the storage. Um, it's more for uh, in a business setting. Businesses can remove the SSD before recycling the device to take the data off of it. But you can, like I said, you can easily swap it, put a new one in. It's just screwed in. You just take it out, put the new one in, and you have to reinstall Windows. So it can definitely be done. There's no issue there. Um, but I guess that's not what they're intending it to be for. Um, that's just what I've seen on the articles online. Um, but overall, everything else is the same. The same. The kickstand's the same. Um, the cool thing is I can find a lot of accessories for this a lot easier. The keyboard, the Slim Pen 2, which is a huge upgrade over the regular Slim Pen. I will be picking those up eventually. Um, and uh, trying those out for you guys. But the only part I don't like is this one is platinum rather than the uh, the black. I like the black on the other one, but you had to bump up the specs to I think the, the next one up to get that on this one um, for, for at least what Best Buy had. Um, and I just didn't want to spend that extra money. I didn't really need that because this is just a kind of on the go kind of device. I'm not going to be doing any editing or anything like that on it. That is what my Mac is for. Um, so I didn't need all that power 
on the Surface Pro. But definitely, definitely, definitely a huge upgrade over the Surface Pro 7 in my opinion. Um, if you can get one of these on sale and spend a couple hundred dollars more, I would definitely say the Pro 8 is way more worth it than the Pro 7. It's a way more up-to-date device and it just feels a lot better and a lot more refined in my opinion. This has been Tech Out. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And as, as always, have a great day.